Today I'm in Sydney to facilitate the launch workshop. This is the first time that we've run Smart Seeds in Sydney. The challenge that we've set lifestyle luxury is around the challenges uh, of affordable housing which uh, is very much in the press at the moment. The challenge that we've set the group is how to create the food loop in our urban environment and how can we get more out of the food that we've traditionally wasted. The challenge that we've set is called Slow Space or Face to Face. It's about how retail and shopping centres adapt to the growing demand for online retail. The Smart Seeds program has been really exciting so far. Um, I'm really hoping to achieve some outside of the box thinking. I want to benefit from the experience of the mentors, working maybe in a, in a different area than I, than I work now. Uh, we're doing a lot of brainstorming, working together, having a few laughs, which is always excellent. We've actually got some pretty good ideas already, so um, I think it's going to be a really good collaborative team. Over eight weeks, the six teams have created and assessed a huge number of ideas. They are ready to pitch their ideas to us today. Sydney's water is expected to be sufficient until the year 2025. We believe that Sydney's future can be about sustainable water usage using technology inspired by nature. It was a terrific presentation. And it certainly got me thinking about sort of how we can use existing processes and systems to better effect. So eight weeks ago, six young minds were given a challenge in this room to discuss and address the future of retail. We are actually proposing to redefine the retail model. This is a good idea. Oh, I think there's a huge amount of potential there. But uh, there was one that stood out for all of us and therefore I would like to um, congratulate the group Lifestyle and Luxury for winning the Smart Seeds Award. And the People's Choice Award goes to Scale Above the Rail. It's just the opportunity to have that exposure to mentors that are the leaders in the industry and being able to work on something that could potentially make a difference in the long run. I definitely recommend getting involved in the Smart Seeds program because it's a really good way to network with people your own age. We really need to look at some new ideas. So competitions like this one are just fantastic for actually getting particularly young people's views on how the city should work. And this gives them a great forum to, uh, to put their ideas forward. Well, I think a different approach and a more innovative way of thinking is really critical our expectations are changing, everyone wants new, and programs like this are fundamental to bringing about change. The reason that uh, projects and innovation challenges like Smart Seeds are so important is that they really challenge everybody to think innovatively. Programs like this will change the world because it gives a platform for the youth to bring up ideas. I think this is the start, this is the beginning. We're going to go global. GHD has great dreams to make something like this widely appreciated by the market across the world.